Hey guys, Jonathan here, and I am at the biggest tool expo in Europe, which is packed floor to ceiling with brands you know, brands you don't know. And we're here to find as many cool and quirky tools as we can in what we've basically got is an eight hour stint. <laughs> There's nine halls to go through, and hopefully we can find some tools we've not seen before, some new stuff, maybe some existing stuff. Hopefully take some of them back to the workshop and get them organized. So let's check it out. There are so many tool brands here that I don't recognize. Batvia Power Tools, have you seen these? Always interested in wooden handle tools, and I don't think I've ever seen a wooden handle pair of uh, scissors before. That's a cool little item. I've actually got an adjustable that size. Don't ask me how I got it. Or if you're interested, ask me in the comments and I might tell you. But I've got one, and I didn't really want it. So, this won an award, didn't it? Exactly, it was nominated for the Eisen Award. Right, okay, yeah. Not without uh, any reason, because it's a really nice multi-tool. Yeah. Uh, we did a calculation and it actually covers more than 120 different shapes, sizes, applications. It's a really nice, compact tool. Yeah, I like it. I mean, these sockets do look unusual because they're not like your typical 12-point exactly. socket, are they? We call it universal design. Right, okay. And you can see that it's a completely different shape than a standard 6-point or 12-point socket. Yeah, yeah. And because of this universal shape, it is possible to work with a lot of different kinds of fasteners, like the 6-point, the, the rounded, square, torx, 12-point, spline, and it also comes with a pass-through function, so you can also access really hard-to-reach uh, fasteners. Because I've had a backhoe yeah. wrench with this before, this removable jaw. We call it a Stilson wrench. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like a mini little Stilson wrench when, when something's rounded off and you can't get on there. Oh, I, I even like that. Look at the way that it attaches. So it's just by having it as, you know, normally a socket has a, like a quarter inch or a half inch or a three-eighths inch. So you, you kind of blocked off from having a stud going all the way through. So a lovely little mechanism on that and it clicks in there. Really nice, satisfying click. I love that. Yeah, cool. So what's this kind of retail at for this little set? Uh, it's about $29.99. Yeah. So really nice price point. Absolutely. Really product. Yeah. Unique. In the UK? In the UK. Can you get SATA tools in the UK? Where would we get them from? Um, you can either get them with our partner Tool Drive. If you know yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and we're also available on Amazon. Oh, amazing. Happy days. And I saw some Lego pliers. What are they about? Are they your little kind of giveaway? It looks yeah. cool. Can I get one? I can get you one if you like. Amazing. Sure. Right, fab. Ah, uh, the magic number. I said, was there any chance of five sets? So that's flipping awesome. If you want one of these little plier set, you know what to do. Drop a comment. Let us know. Have you used SATA tools in the UK? They're not a brand I've used before, but seeing that, I think I'll be uh, having a look at the rest of their range while I'm here on the booth. I recognize that. I believe that the one we had was called Nobex, Nobex. That is the exact same in our German Quirky Tools video. It was one of these by Nobex, made in Sweden. So clearly that is a rebranded version. That is a cool tool, I really like that. I don't know if it's more interesting that they have a small version or they have a red version. Because <laughs> the red is even more interesting. I really like that, I feel like that. It's just, it's, it's a speed square, but a speed square is typically quite an awkward shape. So the idea that it kind of like, folds down and goes in a kit is nicer and that you can do the different angles so it's a speed square with you know even more versatility so I like that I think that is a really cool little tool have you ever seen a tape measure with the tape outside of the measure because I haven't the BMI Pico I wonder if they know that BMI is body mass index in the UK because I think if we had BMI tools in the UK it wouldn't go down very well should we ask them never seen a tape measure like this it's not a tape measure, it's a level right. and a tape measure. Yeah. So we can pull uh, the tape measure out. Yeah, yeah. Oh, entirely out. Yeah, use it that's, as a ruler. That's brave. Yeah, and uh, you can click it in here. Ah. So you have a, a level of a meter. Yeah. You can see. I like it. I like these too. So you don't often see wooden levels. Who's using yeah, those? Yeah, we are the last ones in Germany who are, who are doing it. Yeah. And road builders. And they put the hot tar on the, oh, of course, yeah. the tar. Yeah, yeah, we call it uh, tar, yeah, tarmac. One, There's just something okay. nice as well about wooden tools. It feels like it's a throwback to the days where all tools were wooden. Do you know what BMI means in the UK? Are you aware? No. BMI is a very commonly used acronym for body mass index. Yeah, sure, that's the same in Germany. Is it, yeah? Yeah. 
Brilliant. So what does BMI stand for? Bavarian Measuring Industry. Well, as soon as you see BMI, you think, oh, that must be for like measuring your waste. No, no, Or no, measuring no. your, like, if you're selling scales, no, you do well. No, in the well. time, my grandfather founded the company um, yeah. in 1948. Oh, that was long before BMI. Yes, uh, <laughs> nobody was talking about body mass index, so. No, no. Okay, thank you very thank much. You. Pleasure. We were looking at something similar to this with CK for uh, stripping uh, steel wire armor rather than having to uh, wind them. The fact you can just snap it into place for stripping off insulation. That's pretty cool. And it's got a deburring tool on it as well. Tidy gear, not sure what that is. Cable stripper, crimper. That's pretty nifty. So you can rotate that around. So it's like a, it's similar to their universal crimper, their, their normal fixed one, but obviously you can rotate it, which is pretty nice. Pretty nifty little thing. Let's keep wandering. This shows too much. I think you need all four days to get around it all. So this is a warmer for like, if you've got a corking gun, it's not flowing. You kind of put this on, it's got like a little power bank in the side. Quirky little thing that, isn't it? We've got a few quirky little products on here that all just solve very specific problems. This is a carpenter who, who, who tried to sell these yeah. to the local lumber stores and stuff. Yeah. They weren't selling because they were just in a plastic bag and a price and nobody knew what it was. So if we made the box here, here you have an indication of how much percentage is left on the battery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you have a frozen tube, it takes 12 to 15 minutes, so it's, it's defrosted. Yeah. yeah. So this goes all the way down to 25 Ooh, minus. Yeah. Of course, the battery yeah. will decrease yeah, yeah, yeah. because of the cold, but... but it's still going to solve the same problem. Love it. Fantastic. Well, thanks for showing us. Yeah, thank you. First old stock. I think I've been here an hour already in the f first one I've seen. There we go, Witter Tools. I do like that. That's, the, that's the interesting. Tape, the tape is in, uh, in white. Yeah. Market uh, on the back side to, to measure in vertical. Yeah. And it, with these models, we are looking for high visibility. High contrast, yeah. White, white on black, all the way around <laughs> on the back side, and uh, the green one. The green one is the the same principle than the the green laser. Yeah, yeah. The green is more sensible to the. Yeah, yeah. It does. It's, it's a good contrast. Yeah. I don't think I've yeah. seen tapes like that before. I like it. The best tapes. Yeah. <laughs> they are cool. So you make these? Where do you make them? We used to do it in Barcelona to yeah. the 90s. Now we moved all the production to, 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 to Croatia. Right, okay. Yeah. This is our design. This is designed in, uh, in Barcelona. It's got a nice solid feel to it. Yeah. Yeah. I like it. And it's quite compact for a five meter tape, isn't it? Yeah. That's it's quite small for five. It's a flipping beast right in the middle of the expo, F1 car, and you can see why the halo wasn't very popular when they introduced that. That is blocking right in your eye line, but what a flipping beast of a thing. A lot of carbon fiber on that. And here it is in the flesh, tough built system. Inside the scoop, we've actually just got our hands on a full stack tech system, but we've not reviewed it yet or looked at it on the channel. So we can have a look at some of the accessories maybe I didn't find in Lowe's in America, but yeah, let's see if we can uh, get someone to talk us through it. Hello, how are you doing? I'm Jonathan. Hi, gentle one. Do that one. You, yeah, <laughs> you, you save it, you save it. I don't want to break your hand. So we're, uh, we're from the UK. Yeah, me too. I, yeah, good. Yeah, Best place, it's a good place to be. It makes it a lot easier. <laughs> <laughs> right, so I have seen you've got the uh, the rolling box drawer box coming soon as well, your mid right. mid year this year, which is quite cool. So basically, this side, yeah, is launching imminently. Yeah. Okay. And then this side, give or take perhaps one or two skews, and then this side will be coming back end this year, beginning of twenty five. That's coming into the UK or into the. In, yeah. Yeah. Into the UK. Yeah. Well, into Europe, but you're not know I mean? yeah, yeah, yeah. the UK. Yeah. Yeah. Just to give you an idea. Amazing. Thanks very much. All right. This is a box that's quite cool. We didn't find this in America, and I don't know, I think this is one that's available in spring. We did get some accessories from America, but we've yet to go through them all, and I don't think we have the big case like that. And this is another one, Stack Tech Tote. We didn't get one of those. It's a big range, and it's growing. There's a whole heap of stuff already launched. There's more coming in the spring, and there's more coming at the end of the year, so it's pretty expansive. And then this trolley's pretty cool. Look at this thing. Have that packed in the back of your pickup truck, pile everything on there, and then off to your job. I mean. It looks more like you're going to tow it behind your pickup than, uh, than push it along, but it's a fair bit of stuff. You can't really come to Tough Bill and not look at the tools because nearly every single tool they offer has got a slight innovation to it. It's slightly different. I didn't see the adjustable in America. 
just got a nice weight and everything's just a bit different, a bit unusual. So a few items that I did pick up in America. Now we haven't made this video yet, so this is a bit of an inside scoop really, but we did get the folding pull saw and uh, this won an award actually at this show. So you can tell how good that is. I actually got two of those. So we've got another little giveaway coming soon. What else did I get? We've seen this, this is a bit of a favorite. Utility knife that flips into a scraper. Flipping love that. I did pick up one of these little 360 pocket levels. Not because I liked it, but because you know the Milwaukee one seemed to uh, let us down. So hopefully the tough built one will do the trick. And where is, there was a grenade screwdriver. There it is. So I did pick up one of these too. I was in America and it said grenade on it. So it felt like that was something uh, we had to give a go. That video is coming soon. So 10 quirky tools that Tough Built offer. You've got to subscribe if you want to see that. So I'm on the booth at Tough Built and Ian has sorted us out here with a few tools. Look at these. Now, actually, it's funny that the reload knife is one of the only Tough Built tools that I've not picked up. That'll have to go in the, uh, in the giveaway. So look at that. Glad we came to the show now. What a winner. Right, thanks Ian. There we go, that is our beloved toolbox. People love this, this has got a huge following and obviously it's made by Kita and then rebranded into Rigid, a Bauer, Imperial. I thought the JCB one had disappeared. In the UK you can't get it and uh, I had to source one on Facebook basically to, to, to have a JCB version. But here we go in the flesh, we've got the JCB sight system which works with the Rigid. Now the Rigid have just released the three draw which I had to hunt down from America. But here we've got a soft canvas bag that attaches to it, a kind of standard tool tote that attaches to it. And over here, that is just unbelievable. I've never seen this before. So in, in rigid, I've got the three draw box, but here we go, JCB. I've got a two deep draw box on wheels. Now I know rigid, I've got three draw actually on wheels, but that is awesome and an organizer. So loving that. Where are you from Magnum? Where's oh, the Finland. From? Finland, yeah. Right, cool. Yeah. yeah, do you have any hand tools that are innovative or different? It's very, very small. It is, and it's heavy. Normal size, yeah. Yeah? You would not believe that is a five meter tape measure, eh? I like it. Same size and three millimeter. You're looking. Yeah, super compact. That's a clever tool. Do you have a Zoll stock? Three. A Zoll stock? No, folding ruler? No, no. Oh, you're in Germany, everyone has Zoll no, stock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but in the, north, in the north, like in Finland and Nordic countries, nobody uses those. No, no, it's all about the same museum Ah, this drew my eye straight away. What a cool display this is. That took some putting together. So I do love all tools in foam, not just shadow foam. The only problem with something like this is the actual foam itself, this is plastazote foam, which is a cross link. That piece of material there is over twice the price of a piece of shadow foam on its own. Then you've got the cost of scanning the tools, spending the time creating the layout and then milling it. So a piece like that can typically cost two to 300 pounds, whereas a shadow foam piece the same size, you'd be looking at, that's one piece out of a value pack, a value pack's 34.99, so you'd be looking at about 12 pounds, you know, 11, 12 pounds. So although that is fantastic, and if you've got the budget, like some of these big airlines, aviation companies, they can spend all the money in the world on getting their tools organized. For a lot of people, being able to do shadow foam insert and then also be able to afford to change it as tools change is a better option, but let's keep walking. Oh, wow. That's a quick change screwdriver. So you, you twist it to the bit you want and then you push it down and then you crack on. That is cool. That is nifty. Get a tools. I like that. That's pretty cool. That is pretty nifty. Six in one. So it's six screwdriver attachments that you can have. That's cool. Made in Canada. I like it. HSBC. That's the last thing you think HSBC were doing. These are super interesting. So when did you develop this? 22 years ago. 22 years ago. I like it. I was. It was funny, I was looking at it and I was wondering what was special about it and then all of a sudden, yeah. I waited it out. Yeah, they're all, the bits are all interchangeable. Yeah, fascinating. And if you don't want a bit, you give it a bump. Yeah. It's a quarter inch nut driver. I like it. I noticed private all label. the different lakes here, so you have a private label line. Yeah. But it's interesting that it's, it's for craftsmen, but then also like someone like a HSBC bank. That's right. So you've got a wide array of private... Promotional items. Yeah, even Nintendo. Yeah. That's crazy. So if you look at that, inside yeah. they have a bit load for taking apart all the Game Boys. Oh, I see, right. right, clever, I like it. Customize your bit load. Yeah. So, wait, are you flying? Yeah, but I've, I've got a carry, I've got a hold all bag, carry on. Where, where are you from? Uh, Manchester in England, yeah. 
Are you sure this is okay? Yeah. Thank you very much, I really appreciate it. Lovely to meet you, Mark, yeah. and thank you very much. This is one of my favorites, I think. So this is a pretty cool thing, a, a, a Bora Speed Horse. Now there's a few of these available, but these legs can go in any way. It doesn't matter which one you put in first, which makes it easier. And then that's how you deploy it. And obviously then length of 3B2 or CLS down it. And you've got a solid bench within a couple of seconds. I love that. And then this thing is uh, just like a, a whole working platform, isn't it? That's probably even quicker. So it's going pretty well. I found a few things. The scale of this place is still blowing my mind. It's been a few hours. I'm eating a pretzel, but I found a few bits. That's the main thing. Let's keep looking. Where's all the damage? That's a lot of damage. <laughs> Love it. Phil not here? No, I, I just got he's, off the phone with him. He's baby. a busy man. Yeah. I've got a roll of that. Yeah. I brought it back from America. I've got a can of this, but I've got the smaller can. So they're hooking us up with some good gear for the giveaway here. We've got five pencils. Just some more flex tape, single use size. Oh, that's awesome. So if you're making like a little emergency pack away kit, that's looking awesome. We'll get to take some of them, absolutely. Five pens, amazing. <laughs> Here we go, that's especially for you. Yeah, and we can try and repair uh, a lot of damage with it. Happy absolutely. days. Thanks very much. Enjoy, cheers. See ya. Take care. Is this something new? I can't see it on the stand. 10 hour playtime, all Bluetooth. So connector. you can just vibe on the job site. Yeah, exactly. And you got magnet. <laughs> Put it right on, <laughs> hands free, ears free. You can just have your own soundtrack while yeah. you're living life. And it's got a mic in there too, so you can do phone calls. So. Yeah, I like Very it. Popular. Pretty extensive range too. Very extensive. All sorts of leads and... Yeah, so check these out. These are our new earphones, Pro Max. These are coming out in one month. Yeah. So they have a speaker or you can go earphones. So. And here, you have to listen. Okay. Oh yeah, it's all yeah. right. Yeah, it's very immersive, yeah. I don't think we can use uh... I'm trying to name this song, who is it? It's a challenge. Genesis. Genesis, I thought it was Phil Collins, yeah. Phil Collins. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. It's, it's actually far louder. You just put that around my head, it just blasted yeah, my head off. It's really, I know. That was probably <laughs> Have you loud. just heard that coming through the microphone? Yeah. And once again, these have a mic in them as well, so you can do a phone call. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. I thought it was only going to be quiet. So, uh, Still, no, sorry, my ears are still ringing. <laughs> it's loud, I know, I know. Oh, yeah, that's flipping amazing. Yeah, I'll give you a sneak preview of what's coming out. So yeah? later this year, we have... Oh, that's cool. These are our TWS version 2. Cool thing about these is, once again, they charge right in the case, but it has a quick wheel. So like if you have gloves or big hands, it's very easy to do the controls. Right. Like on some of the competition, it's very hard to do the controls. I like it. So this will be unique to this. Nifty, so. can I have a look? Yeah. So that's a nifty little case too. Yeah. As soon as so you pull that are, out, I was like, yeah. oh yeah. So these are coming out. Needs to be heavy summertime. duty. Look at that, yeah. summertime. Not brand new, not even on the market yet. Brand yeah. new. Sneak preview. I like it. Leave them in the packet, the ones that I've got. Yeah, they're both good. The sound yeah. is tremendous. So this yeah. is the set that I have got. Correct. Again, it's a lovely little case. It's not got the same satisfying little clunk as that one, but. But it's, so it's, it's 30 a, it's hours a, of play time in the yeah. case. So it's, and it's magnetic, so it just pops Yeah, they right stick back in, in, yeah, yeah. yeah. So. If you're a big Dewalt guy, yeah. you love a little bits like that, yeah? Exactly, that's a good gift giving one. Yeah. So, yeah, love it, love it, and cool. The cables, keep in mind on the cables, we have all Kevlar, so it's 100% lifetime on that. Doesn't matter how good the cable is though, the problem is it's these tips and the ends, it's, well, the, yeah, it's but, these joints that but break. But we have it? extra strain relief, so we've built that up, and we yeah. do a lifetime guarantee on that, so it won't oh. fail. And this is the first combo cable that will be fast charged where you can go C to C. Yeah. So you can go nice. C to A, C to C, you can do lightning. So it's basically five attachments. Yeah. So nobody else is doing it right now. It's brand no, new. no, that is good. Nice. And uh, charging leads for cars, EV stuff. I've just thought that is mad. Have that on your house and plug into your car. You're gonna put a Dewalt badge on everything? No, only on Vesta. Well, that's a cool little thing. I don't think I saw that in America, the, uh, the Dewalt pen. Yeah, so the 3-1 pen has been a great gift giving item. It's been super popular. Um, in fact, why don't you go ahead and take one so you can try Are it out you sure? yourself. Absolutely. All right, we'll put that in foam. Easy one. Thanks yeah. very much. Yeah, thank you. And man. it's what, Stephen? Yes, yeah, pleasure. Thanks very much for very your time. Nice to meet you. See you now. Oh, so there we go. The Ox Tool Trek. So we actually have this box here, which is the normal like triple stack. Got that from ITS. But I was aware that they now have drawers. You've got like a three drawer, two drawer. They've got the totes, all the clips together. I quite like this. So these are quite cheap and cheerful kind of uh, benches. And with this system, you can kind of attach them to the front. 
you can see the rounding out the system, it's a much more budget friendly system as well, the Oxools Trek. Looks a lot like the Trend and the Kubrick, so I'll have to expand a little bit on that and figure out will our inserts fit in these, because sometimes they can look the same but there is slight differences, but it's quite smart. And then obviously over here, the big win for me, and the thing you don't see from any of these toolbox systems, is this, you can just see on the wall, you've got these little organizers, these little tool trek organizers that you can mount in one of the crates. And that, that crate there clips with the rest of the tool treks, but you can have it full of all your little fasteners and fixings. You can mount a couple on the wall and you can like swap out all the gear that you're taking. So all your waggos and all your different like small bits and bobs can be organized and you can switch things out. So it's a versatile system, I quite like it. Even this, this is new. This is like a clamshell box that you can have as a standalone toolbox, but it does attach to everything else. So I think we'll have to pick up a tool trek. Can't fit it in my suitcase, so we'll have to leave that here. I'm surprised that hook can flip and hold it. That is a flipping monster. That must weigh flipping, made in Germany, that must weigh 15, 20 kilos that. How, how heavy is that? 29 kilograms. 29 kilograms. Wow, look at that, guns. There's some beastie stuff and it's all made in Germany. Yep. This looks very similar to the T-Stack. The fact it's got a wider rolling box and then the box is on top of it and narrow, that's very like T-Stack-esque. But obviously it is different. This looks like a different mold I've not seen before. Quite like the plastic moldings here with the, with the lids on. Anything cool, you tell me. But what I do know is that there is like a foam layer in with like these bits that you can take out. Do you know who we are? Don't tell me about <laughs> inferior foam, will you? Yeah. But well, that's the enemy. You know that nobody likes pick and pluck foam, don't you? Because know. it doesn't is last. It? Nobody likes it. it okay. This thing here is landfill fodder. Yeah, but what's the deal with the gold stuff that you've got for the 100 years? Is it just gold or is there anything else about it? We made it gold to refer to the past where we had our skill saw classic models. This one is totally new. Right. Which is uh, skill saw quality yeah. at a very affordable price. This retails under 100 euros. Being fully brushless. Yeah. Uh, advanced electronics inside, even got an innovative feature with the first ones to bring a shadow line on the circular saw. Yeah. This means that the user can see exactly where he will cut because a shadow line is projected from the blade itself. So you see the width of the blade even. Wow. For under 100 euro? Um, under 100 euro. I like it. That's a nifty little, uh, nifty little tool. So it's a USB charge. I've asked him, it's 36 euros, but it's not available in the UK yet. But that's cheaper than the Ryobi one that I got for the Ryobi build. It's got a nice bit of weight to it, so I, I do quite like that. I've, I've already been playing about with it, and it, it's got a fair bit of torque to drive these screws in. You can feel it really crunching in there. The little, like, cricket, I called it, the Ryobi one, takes up a bit more space in the kit, whereas I feel like that is just the right balance. And look at that, it's even got a little light on the end, which is a bit of a feature of the skill stuff. They always have a little light on, so that's a nifty little bit of gear, that is. And it comes in this kit as well, so you've got a bunch of screwdriver bits and... Uh, Quite a comprehensive little kit, that, to be fair. Sadly, I can't buy one at the show, but I might have to try and get one of them online. I think this is what Stu Compton should be getting, something like this. Feels too nice to touch. Is this common in, in Japan that you have them all engraved yes. and nice? Yeah, engraving by hand. Yeah? And how much is this? About uh, 600 euro. Wow. And are they popular? Do you think a plasterer, do a lot of plasterers have hand engraved trowels? Yes. Do they, yeah? Oh, uh, yeah, this is weird, new. Yeah, and what's yes. this? Is this the brand? What's this say? Banshu Miki Uchihamono. Yeah? Yes, uh, Miki is our city and uh, Miki is a traditional tool. Oh, I see. Is this your brand? Yes. Yeah. It's, what, it's a beautiful thing. Mm, thank you so much. Yeah. And are these bought to people buy these to use them? Mm -hmm. 600 euros is a lot of money for a trowel. Yes. Flipping out. Have you seen this? Do you think they, that is flipping crazy? That's a pretty cool uh, concept for building a, uh, a foam Jolstock collection, eh? Just have them all slotted in. That is pretty awesome, I love that. I wonder if they have uh, Jolstocks we can take. Wow, here we go. The home of L-Box. It's interesting to see all the different L-Boxes you have. I don't think we make inserts for all of them and how many different partners you have. It's pretty incredible. Yeah, we have now over 400 partners with their own branding on own our branding box. Yeah. yeah, love it. Yeah, it's really, really cool. And then the ProClick system. Do you want to give us a demo on that? <laughs> okay, so um, the ProClick system is actually uh, a modular belt system. So you yeah. have the, the key element, which is the holder. Yeah. You have that button here below. You can open it and you can attach it on any belt. Right, okay, yeah, that's up cool. Up to five centimeter. 
and uh, once it's attached, actually you don't need to remove it anymore because you can attach your pouches as you wish for the work you're doing right now. And yep. afterwards you can just click it off again. I love how easy it is and solid yeah, it is once really it's attached. And yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, the good thing is you can go on a ladder and when you come back and maybe you get stuck somewhere, it's fixed. You cannot uh, lose it. Yeah. So if you like, you can have it. Yeah, nice. Oh, so you're giving these away? Yes. There we go. So I don't think I can put that in foam, but maybe I can put foam in it. So happy days. Thanks very much. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> Thanks. So we've had a look around the stand, looked at the existing L boxes, the accessories and the ProClick system. And they gave me a ProClick. So that's a bit of a bonus. They've got something special to show me in this back room. Let's go and have a look. Right, so I've just come out of the L-Box contract reveal and it's an interesting setup. The L-Box is a box I've always really liked. It's got great versatility anyway, but they're not the most solid things. But I do like the fact they come in all these different brand variations and you can get kits all clipped together. Now the L-Box contractor takes that to a whole new level. So it's the same, it's all compatible with the existing L-Box, but it's far more solid. You've also got something pretty cool, which is like a shelf storage system for your individual L boxes. So if you buy an L box with a kit already made up, rather than having to decant it into another box or into a drawer, you can create a drawer essentially out of a box. So some special features, really like it. Now let's get back to the UK. So fresh back from Germany with three big bags of goodies. Now that tool fair was flipping epic. I can't believe the scale of it if I'm honest. We got their first doors opening and I think by the time we'd been around the third hall, we thought we were finished. And I spoke to Mark at Stealth Mounts, and I said, oh, it was near the end of the day. I thought, oh, we've had a great day. We've seen a fair bit now, we're ready to go home. And he said, what, you've seen the whole fair? I said, well, I think so. Turns out there were 11 halls. If you've ever been to the NEC and walked around what is a big expo, imagine that, 11 rooms worth of that. It was flipping insane. We never saw a fraction of it, really. But we did see the three main floors, and then the other subfloors were shell scheme kind of smaller manufacturers so i do feel like we missed out on some genuine quality innovation and some really interesting items and that's why we've got to go back next year and if you want to see that you've got to subscribe because if we grow the channel we can grow the budget and we can go there for two or three days and i think you'd probably need two or three days to get around the whole show but across the halls that we did get to see some of the major brands were there and some other smaller brands i've not heard of and i managed to pick up 10 amazing, innovative, quirky, weird tools that I'm pretty happy and I'm excited to show you. Some of them I managed to get free samples of at the show and then some of them, like this Magnum bag here as an example, got sent to me after the show because this is an expo, it's for retailers, you're not there to buy at a traditional tool fair. So let me show you all of my cool pickups, starting with number 10 from Tough Built. So number 10 on the list is from Tough Bill, and we actually picked this up at the show. Ian, their UK account manager, hooked us up. He sorted us out with a few goodies, including two of these. Now, this is a reload utility knife, and it's something quirky about it. You could see in the packaging there's something special about it. Now, I have got this one. This is my Tough Bill knife scraper, and Tough Bill tools always have a little bit of something extra. They're not like just a generic utility knife with a logo on it. They're trying to push the mandate and make something a bit special, a bit different. So this is the knife I already had, which is their kind of utility knife, scraper, with a pry bar on the back. I really like it. It's about 15 to 20 quid, depending on where you get it from. I picked that up in Germany, but it is available everywhere. So when you give me this knife, I was quite keen to get it open and have a look. And, um, I put it in the 10th spot because we've already had that tough built knife in a video before and I have already had a quick look at this and it has got something quirky about it. I feel like this is more of a fidget though than anything because it's a quick reload. So essentially put that clip in there and it releases like a magazine of a gun, which is a, a bit of a novelty, isn't it? I don't know how useful it is. The idea is you get another clip and then this has got hook Stanley blades in there. So if you're a carpet fitter, maybe it's handy to be able to flick from one blade type to another, but I don't know how often you're doing that. Usually if you fix that, if you're using that blade, you're pretty much always using that blade. And then if you're using the normal utility blade, I don't know how often you need to switch back and forth, but it's a quirky little thing. And there's definitely a bit of uh, intrigue about it. As soon as I picked it up and I pressed that, and that flew out the bottom. I was sold on the uh, the concept of it. I feel like it's definitely got a bit of a quirk to it. So it's number 10 on my list because I don't know the actual practical use case for it. I actually prefer this thing. I feel like that's a utility tool I can get behind. It's got two uses. You don't need another part which could easily be lost. But Ian sorted me out with two of these and I thought, well, we don't do things in twos here, do we? We do things in fives. If you've been watching this channel for any length of time, 
you'll know that when we do a simple little giveaway, it's five of an item. So I actually went and bought four more of these. I got them from B&Q. Did you know that Tough Built was sold in b and I didn't. But I bought four of those. The one from Ian gives us five, and that is the first piece of this giveaway, right at the start of our list of top 10. So you know what to do by now. You just drop a comment, let me know. We're talking tools. Down in the comments below, we're having a great discussion down there on quirky tools. And if you join it and drop a comment, it can be anything. Let me know which one of the top 10 here was your favorite, or just drop me a message about what videos you'd like to see in the future. All those comments are included as long as you're subscribed. We're gonna do, in three weeks from now, we do a little short video where we draw five winners and you can get one of these and we've got more stuff to come. But that is the first item and that is number 10. Let me show you number nine. Number nine on the list is the margin marker. Now this thing is pretty cool as a solution. So it was a, a guy in the trade who invented this. He was a joiner. And essentially, if you're ever putting architrave around a door and you want a nice even gap all the way around, rather than having to measure it or use like a little combination square, which does get the job done, this little thing for a best, I think it was less than a tenner for this, you can basically set it to whatever kind of offset that you want or inset that you want. And then you can just use that as a really little fixed jig, go around the door, make sure your top, top corners are square and even and make sure your gap's even. Lovely little solution, but the reason why I like it is the company that were the show, Hammer Stroke, they were basically supporting tradesmen who were finding solutions to problems on the site, they were trying to fix them, but then obviously they don't have the skills to take it to market and get it into the hands of the people who are facing the problem every day. So it's a very tricky thing when you invent a product or you come up with a solution, you think there's a business there, it's a very long journey. I've been doing shadow foam for 12 years and only just about finding my rhythm now. So for a tradesman who's got an idea and wants to take it to market, they can use somebody like Hammerstroke who takes this, makes some lovely packaging that explains the problem that it's trying to solve and helps support get that product around the world without kind of putting all of that effort and cost on that trade person. So lovely little product from a company that I really like the look of. They had a few other quirky little inventions. One was a cork gun heater, which was quite nice because that was again by a tradesman who was working, I think in, I can't remember where they said, somewhere in uh, Finland, Norway, Sweden, somewhere like that where it's really cold and you're trying to do corking and the cork's all frozen up. You need something to kind of solve that problem, which is where he came up with this cork jacket, which I really liked. They also had like a, a little uh, center punch with a spring on it to just so you don't need a hammer for doing center punching. Some little quirky inventions all from inventors and tradespeople solving problems and uh, my favorite though was the margin marker. I thought that was quite a quirky simple solution. So that's number nine on the list. Let me show you number eight. So at number eight is something really cool and it's represented by this. This is the ProClick pouch. I've never used the ProClick system before but it is great. I could tell it immediately. It's just screaming quality and simplicity, which are exactly what you want. There's lots of these modular belt systems and connect systems, and this one is one hook, really solid. It clips into this little holder, and it's and it's literally going nowhere, upside down, any way, but one button to release it. They've got loads of different pouches, and ProClick is basically part of the BS Systems Group, which is owned half by Bosch, half by Sortimo. And the reason why it's number eight is not because of the ProClick system, really. It's what it represents, and that is innovation <laughs> in toolboxes. And we love toolbox innovation. So LBOX has been around for a long, long time, and it's slid to be in one of the less innovative toolboxes. It doesn't have as broad of a range of some of the other boxes now. It's not a solid, it's not ABS plastic where it's really robust and rigid. But they've got some big news and that is that they are catching up. And they're not just catching up, it looks like they're gonna be jumping ahead of the competition with a new LBOX contractor system. So it's a much more heavy duty LBOX modular tool case system. It's got a huge range of boxes. It's got loads of different options, drawer options, totes, the full nine yards, exactly like Flex and Tough Built, but it looks like they've got a few innovative style boxes which they don't have. One in particular stood out to me and that was like the box shelf. And it was basically a unit that you can put existing L boxes in which then connects that into the L box contractor system. So really clever. And the reason why I've got the ProClick here is because this system already exists. People have the ProClick stuff. And the LBOX contractor has got the rail along the side. So the only other system that's got something like that is the Tough Built. So that's got metal guides on the side with two slots and they have their own little system that hooks on. But with the Pro Click, it's a bit more versatile. They've got them all the way around and there's a broader range of accessories that attach to that. So, and they already exist. You don't have to buy new accessories. You don't have to buy into the LBOX contractor setup and then kind of get rid of all your existing belts and accessories. But if you're a Bosch guy and you've already got Pro Click stuff, 
it automatically connects. So very novel, very interesting. I'm led to believe that's coming early 2025, but there's gonna be one introductory box, which is coming this summer. And it's basically like, it's a crossover. It's an L box, but far more heavy duty and it will connect with the LBOX contract, which comes in 2025. So loads of exciting stuff. I might get this on my belt actually. So you press the button on the bottom, it opens it. We can then clip it over any belt and you can see there it's just on my hip. And then this thing just clicks in like that and uh, get me old reload knife in there and I'm ready to go. And that is number eight. Number seven, we've got something called the Edgemate Pro, and this is on the list for a couple of reasons. First reason is it's a clever tool, and that's the most important. It's a novel tool. I'll show you, it's basically like quite an ergonomic knife sharpener. You can hold it like that. It keeps your uh, hands away from the blade. It's got like a little protector here. It's got a cartridge, basically, of all the different angled sharpening bits. That goes in there nice and safe, so you're not gonna lose any of the bits, which is the first nice thing. And then essentially, I've already put one in here. So I've put in the gray, which is the 65 degree, scissors coarse sharpener and I've got a pair of scissors here and essentially you can keep your hands well out of the way and you can just run the uh, the scissors through and just sharpen them. Now we've seen sharpeners before so the fact that it's a bit quirky and clever with the, the different um, sharpening bits is nice but I also liked the other items you had on the booth. The chat was a big fan of the channel, he'd seen some of our videos and that's because he makes toolboxes so he's familiar with toolbox inserts and shadow foam. He even asked me for a picture which never gets old, that's um Still comes as a surprise when people want a picture uh, with me, but if you do see me, feel free to ask <laughs> because I love it. It's a good bit of, good bit of banter having a, having a picture and a chat, and it's always great to hear what your favourite videos are and what his favourite videos were. So I picked up on his stand. He had one there. Looked very similar to the Sealy. Looked very similar to the Vont. I spoke to him, and yeah, he did indeed make those boxes and the Stahlwerk as well, which is three boxes, all the same mould, but different logos and our inserts slot straight into them. So interesting to meet the manufacturer. And he also makes this, and he also had a new product, which was, can't remember what it was called, but it was red and black, and it was a toolbox system. So I'll be interested to see if that ends up in Sealy, Von, or Stolwerk, because that's typically how these things happen. So it's great to see the innovation at the factory that's making them. Great to see one of his tools as well, the Edgemate Pro. And that's a pretty quirky one, in at number seven. So in at number six is an item from Skill. Now, Skill had a massive booth. They were celebrating their 100th anniversary and they've been making the Skill Saw, the Worm Drive, big old aluminium beastie for 100 years. It's hard to believe that those things, those power tools have been going that long. We saw a few of them on the booth, a few quirky things, including an RC truck. So great booth, loads to see on there and a lovely team as well. And while we're on the booth, we're looking at one of their new products, which is the Skill 4 volt screwdriver. Now this thing has got a few little quirks about it, which I mean, again, you know, we've seen sharpeners before, we've seen electric screwdrivers, so we're not looking to reinvent the wheel here, but I like it when there's a little bit of innovation and there's a reason why you would buy this one over and above something else. And this one has got a few little quirks about it. So let me show you. Quirks, quirks, quirks. So it's an electric screwdriver first and foremost, and it's a pretty good one. I used it at the show. I put in a load of different screws and it's a bit of a beast. It, was, it wasn't it was struggling. It was driving them right down all the way flush with the surface straight away. And it comes with some bits and stuff and all that's pretty standard. It's got the classic LEDs on it though, which is nice. All skill tools tend to have really bright LEDs, which if you're putting kitchen cabinet doors on, that's pretty handy because you are working in a little confined space, having a, a light right there is handy. But the other thing, which is novel, is this thing has got a volt stick built into it and it works pretty well, let me show you. So you press the button on the side, it does a little beep to show you that it's it's checking for volts. Go up to the cable and I'm, I'm like three, I'm two, three inches away there and it's picking up that there's power. So if you are driving a screw into a wall, you hold that button, it'll tell you, don't drive the screw there because there's a cable. So that is pretty novel. Like I say, screwdrivers, electric screwdrivers, been around for a long time, but this thing, it's ticking a few different boxes. And if you're trying to put together a little toolkit for around the house, that's a pretty good choice. And it's not bad value either. Price on the screen. I bought this from Amazon because like I say at the show, you couldn't buy a lot of the items. They were just to demo and you couldn't get one. So I ended up buying this one, but I wanted to show it you because there's just something special about it. And that is why it's number six on this list. So in number five, I've got a couple of items in the measurement category. Now we've got a couple of classic Zoll stocks. You can't go to Germany and not pick up one of these classic folding rulers, but I'll get onto those next and I'll start with this. It's a tape measure from Madid. They also had this little baby Zoll stock, which is why I've grouped them all together. This is quite a little novel thing, a little giveaway they had at the show. Always happy to expand the Zoll stock collection. It's a growing collection. Eventually I'll put them all in foam, but if you want to see that, you've got to subscribe. But I think I'll keep growing the collection before I commit it all to foam. But Madid didn't just have the little baby Zoll stocks. 
They also had some really quirky tape measures because the colorings were very unusual. Usually tape measures, you'll know, they're yellow with black markings. Well, Madrid had a couple of options, black with green markings, black with white markings. They also have this vertical numbering, which is pretty handy. If you're measuring something and it's a height, you don't realize how tricky it is to get the measurements until you see one with vertical markings. And you realize, you know what, that's a problem. I didn't realize it was a problem, but seeing this tape measure, really nicely made, designed in Barcelona this was, and then made in Asia, that's what the chap told me. Just a really nice solid thing, and it's really easy to read. I liked it, so I got one of these as a sample, as a free sample from the booth, so a big thank you to Madrid for that one. We also got a couple of Zolstocks. One of them was from Witter. Now Witter had loads of interesting tools. They had some women's screwdrivers, which sadly I can't get hold of them, because we're putting together a pink toolkit, and I was thinking maybe some Witter electrical screwdrivers would be a good addition and they called them the women's range. We'll put a picture on the screen, they're like pink and purple, but uh, not too easy to get hold of. But they also had some cork handle screwdrivers, which were like sustainable, using eco ingredients. I managed to get a set of those, they're on the way. They didn't make it here in time for this video, but hopefully they'll get here in time for our sustainable toolkit, which again, it's another project on the cards coming in the future. And if you want to see that, a toolkit made of modern tools, but all wooden or sustainably sourced, sustainable materials, let me know because uh, that is something we're planning. So that was his old stock from Witter and they gave me that one out of one of their toolkits. So I was really pleased to get that. And then this is from Hulterforce. Now I'll show you, if you've not seen this, I've done this before in a few of our videos. Hulterforce with a brand that invented the folding ruler. And as such, they have the best one and their one, can do this. And the guy on the booth did this in front of me and I couldn't believe it because if you do that with most old stocks, it will just fall to pieces and it'll snap and you'll have bits of metal flying everywhere. But this one is made out of birch. It's a really high quality wooden material they use and the, the way that they make it is different to anyone else and it becomes a lot stronger and they can use much thinner material. You'll notice that this one is far thinner. And yeah, Hulterforce, the inventors. Now Hulterforce are going to the Bolton Tool Fair. We did a London Tool Fair not too long ago and you guys really enjoyed it. So did I, it was flipping great to go around there. I had a look at the Bolton Tool Fair and there's brands going to that one that we've not seen before, including Hulterforce. So hopefully we can have a closer look at some of their tools. And at a Tool Fair, I can actually buy some stuff, which is pretty cool. Now it didn't end there in the number five category because we also got an Ox Tools. Ox Tools have tried joining the club with the folding ruler. Now I can't say their folding ruler is as good as the classic Zolstock. I do love the classic Zolstock, but they've had a fair crack at it and they've made something that's really solid. And when it clicks into place, it does feel like a really solid, it's not flopping around or anything. It's a solid, how long is it? It's 600. So it's pretty good for a kitchen fitter. I mean, most things are 600, aren't they? But uh, pretty cool. They give me one of those as a sample. And all of that isn't number five. The reason why all of this made it into number five, ending on the Ox Pro Tough Rule, is because we also got our hands on the new, oh, that weighs a ton, Ox Tool Track. Now this thing is a beast. It's really heavy duty. It's ABS plastic, really hard wearing. Looks very familiar. I think this same box is made by Kubrick and Trend, but the Ox have got different latches, possibly some other tweaks. We're gonna have to do a video, I think, where we match this up and compare the full system. Cause the other thing that makes Ox really interesting is because this is kind of like their main retail offering. This is the triple stack, Lots of these toolboxes are usually sold in a triple stack, but they have loads of different organizer boxes, some really interesting like vertically stacked organizers, which you can mount on the wall, loads of quirky little features, which I really like. It's also got some really heavy duty rubber wheels, which you don't often get on these systems. But if you want to see a full matchup on the tool trek, let me know in the comments because we can do that. And we also have shadow foam inserts available for this full box. We'll put a link in the description below. And at the end of this video, we can try and cut some foam and get this thing organized. So that was number five. Let me show you number four. So in number four, we've got a tool brand I hadn't heard of before, BMI. Now, what does BMI say to you? To me, it was body mass index. I thought they were selling scales, stuff like that. I went over to the chap, spoke to him, asked him if he knew what BMI meant in the UK. It turns out in, in Germany, they call it the body mass index as well. But well before the body mass index was a thing, and we we're all concerned about that, it was the Bavarian measurement industry. And I spoke to a chap called Florian, he's the current CEO of BMI, and his great grandfather founded the company, making some really incredible measurement tools. And they had loads of really cool stuff on there, really precision engineered hand tools, some great interesting designs. The one that caught my eye straight away was this, it's called the Pico, and it's basically like a tape measure on the outside of the tape measure, very unusual. You can see why straight away, I saw that and thought that's interesting. And I just thought it came out like this. Like, I mean, that's pretty cool because it's so smooth. As soon as Florian came over, or Florian, I'm not sure, I'm probably butchering your name there, but essentially he just pulled it out like that. And I was like, crumbs, <laughs> is he ever gonna get it back in? But actually it goes in really simply. You just have to crook the end, put it in there, and then literally it's like magic, just straight back in, nice and smooth. But the thing that makes it even more fascinating 
is it isn't just a tape measure, you kind of clip it onto the back here. Let me do this right. Clip it onto the back and then it's a one meter level. Now obviously it's not very sturdy, but depending on what you're doing, if you've got a compact tool kit, you can check level across something, or you can obviously use these two as your two leveling points. And uh, look at that shelf, that is bang on the money that is. And it's just super compact. I mean, what a clever little innovation. It's not expensive. It's quite hard to find in the UK. I think I paid about 13, 14 pound for this, but it's a lot cheaper in Europe. And maybe there's some tool brand out there that could stock this thing. Or if you'd like to see us start providing some of these clever little tools, I, uh, I wouldn't mind talking to BMI and seeing if we could buy a bundle of them. So what we'll do is we'll put a link down below and you can register your interest. If there's any of these tools that stand out to you that you'd like to see, this one, like I say, I couldn't get it in the UK and I had to get it shipped in from Europe and it ended up being more expensive. But in reality, we could probably bring a few hundred of these over, list them on the website, but I'd have to know who wants one. So that's the Pico. And while I was there, I had to get a Zoll stock. And interestingly enough, I didn't realize that quite a lot of the Zolstocks that I've had with different printed brands on are also made by BMI. I wish they had BMI on there, but what I'm assuming is that these guys print these for other companies. So they don't have their own printed one, but they'll make a really high quality Zolstock for other brands. So maybe that's what we need. We need a Shadow Foam one. But guess what? We already have one, a Shadow Foam branded Zolstock. Now BMI didn't make this one, but it is as good as, it's a birch made wooden folding ruler. And I felt like with my collection growing ever stronger, and I love these things, I think they're such a novel tool. And it's fascinating to see how they're still regularly used daily in Germany by all the different tradespeople. So I thought it was about time we added one to the website. So if you want one of these, we'll put a link down below. We've got them now on the website. You can get your very own Shadow Foam folding ruler. And that is number four. So in the third position is another tool brand I didn't know, which is SATA Tools. Now, the tool I've got here is something that won an award. Now we were at the Eisen Warren Messer Show in Cologne, huge European tool exhibition, massive. I'm still now like blown away by the size and scale. How is it possible that there's that many hardware tool manufacturers in the world? It's kind of mind blowing to be honest. They have their own like award ceremony right at the start of the show to pick out some special tools, some really cool innovations. And this thing won one of their awards. And I can see why, because it's quirky, it's a multi-tool, but the price is right. If the price is right. If you'd have told me that was 80 or 90 hundred pounds, I'd have been thinking, well, you know, it's not something I would probably want to recommend. It's really expensive for something that, you know, everyone's really got an adjustable span, everyone's got a socket set. But this was 29.99, the chap said. I think I got it for a little bit less on Amazon. I think it was 26.99. But uh, let's get it open and have a look at it. Open it up. Right, so I've got it out of the packaging and essentially what we've got is an adjustable, like an eight inch adjustable on one end, but it has got a reversible jaw. The only other place I've seen these are on backhoe adjustables. And to be fair, they're one of my favorite tools. When I was an engineer repairing machinery, one of the main things I had was a six inch backhoe adjustable, set of Allen keys and a screwdriver. And that gets you through most jobs and the ability to flip the jaw around and use it like a Stilson. If you've got a rounded off nut, this thing is a beast. So the fact that you've got one of these built in, but it doesn't end there. So that's the adjustable on one end. On the other side, we've got a ratcheting driver with kind of this intriguing little mechanism which holds their own unique sockets. So these slot in place, we've got a set here from 10 up to 19 mil. And the chap was explaining on the booth that they're for all sorts, there's something like, I can't remember what you said, 200 different fixings that you can use it for. And basically it's all sorts of nuts. It's your normal kind of standard metric nuts and imperial nuts because the way it's set up, they even say on the side, this is a 19 or a three quarters inch nut, but also it can do torque nuts and square nuts. And it can also do nuts that are on a threaded bar. You're using some stud work to hang lights and stuff. The ability to kind of go all the way onto the stud is, is really useful sometimes when you're just trying to lift something up. So a great tool and for like 29.99 for that kit. And it won the award at the show. So this isn't just me telling you it's a good thing. It won an award. So I do really rate that. And it feels really nice and good quality. Sometimes when you get these kind of like off brands or maybe cheaper brands, I don't get the feeling that Sata is a cheaper brand though. I think it's a nice mid-level brand and I'll be interested to see some of their other tools. So maybe that's something we have to look at in the future. Let me know, have you ever used Sata tools? There's a conversation below this video all about tools. I love talking tools. I read all the comments and I reply to them all as well, mostly. And I'd love to hear from you if you've used Sata tools and if you've got anything to contribute to it because they had a huge booth and a massive range and it didn't stop there. They had another little quirky thing that I loved. I'll show you. So that's number three. They also had these things, Lego pliers. So they're innovators. 
they're getting the kids involved. And they gave me one set and I told them that we do giveaways and usually we go for the magic number five to give more people a chance of winning. And they didn't hesitate. The chap went away, he came back immediately with five sets of Lego pliers. And I think they are a great little addition to our five reloadable tough built knives. And with those two items, I think this is turning out to be a pretty good giveaway. And all you've got to do is go down and comment below this video and make sure you subscribed. So that's number three. Let me show you the next one. In number two, we've got a Canadian made tool. Now I don't say that every day. Not many tools have I looked at that are made in Canada. This one is called the Auto Loader, second generation. I met the inventor of this thing called Mark, lovely chap, and I've been speaking to him about bringing this one over to the UK. You can't get this anywhere, and if you want one, there's another link down below. Join a list if you want to see some of these quirky tools in the UK. No one else is bringing them over here. Someone's got to, because I think these things are amazing, and they're a great little addition to your set, but it can't just be me, because I've got to buy a few hundred of them. So <laughs> if you want one, I'll put a link down below, and we'll have a little list, and you can opt in to like choose if you would like if you're interested in one of these tools. Now let me show you why you might be interested in it. And that is it, that's all you're seeing. <laughs> Basically this thing, I went up to the booth and he had a few of these and for the first moment I was looking at it thinking, oh well you know, you can get the bit out, I mean there's nothing exceptional there. And then it clocked it. Basically you have six bits in here and you can twist it and then engage a different bit. I've seen similar things like this, nothing the exact same, some of them have really long specialist bits, which is annoying because in reality, you might want to add your own bits to this that work for you. Also, you know what it's like, these things round off and snap all the time. And if you've got some specialist bits you can't get, this thing would be redundant within five minutes. You'd round off the first screw and it'd be in the bin. But this takes standard traditional bits. So you can load this up with whatever you need. You just twist it and it just works seamlessly. There's no jamming, I've been playing with this. I, 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 he gave me this as a sample on the booth and I've had it for a week now and I've kind of like been using it and I like it. It's just got a really nice solid feeling to it. It's stout and just a really simple, clever, novel design. And yeah, he can make me one with red here. We can put our logo on it. It would be a really quirky thing, all made in Canada. It's not even designed in Canada and made in Asia. It's literally made in Canada. So I love it. I think that is a really quirky thing. Link in the description if you want one. I don't have any yet, but if you're interested, maybe we can get some. And that's number two. Let me show you my favorite top pick. So in number one is a brand called Magnum Quality Tools. Now this booth was intriguing. The Finnish made tools, some lovely Finnish chaps. I was talking to a chap called Hugo, I think it's pronounced, or Hugo, not quite sure. And I just asked him, what innovative tools do you have? And it's funny, I asked that question on a few booths and quite a lot of them basically went, they looked at me a bit hopelessly and said, nothing really. <laughs> because they're kind of like copy and paste brands. They've got a full range of stuff, but it's all been seen before. There's nothing really interesting. And I want to show you the interesting things, the things that are new, solving problems that you didn't know you had. We don't want to just be looking at pliers and screwdrivers all the time. Anyway, so I asked these guys, have you got anything innovative? And they had a couple of things to show me. And to be honest, it's nice to see a family of, with who you've clearly got some inventors in the family that are creating new products, new solutions, and they're bringing them to life. And let me show you the first thing. So starting with compact tape measures. Now they might not look too special. They might just look quite standard, but let me compare it. This is their five meter tape. This is a normal five meter tape. And then here's the medded one as well, which we've got. You can see this is smaller than what I would consider a three meter tape. It's really minute and it's really heavy. They must have really tightly wound this thing. It's also a full width tape. There's no kind of like uh, compromise in this, the, the thickness of the steel. It feels like a really good quality steel tape, but just literally, what's that 20, 30% smaller, really heavy stout thing. And they've also got an eight meter tape and you can see this one, it's pretty much the same size as the five meters, but you've got an extra three meters of steel rolled in there, which is just pretty cool. I don't know why they don't all do that. You know, for me, a tape measure, when you get to these bigger sizes, they start getting quite big, bulky, annoying. This thing is the perfect kind of balance really of size. So that was the first quirky thing, but it didn't stop there. They also had some pipe grips. Now pipe grips we've all seen before. There's lots of companies making these. So you'd be wondering, how do you make something interesting and new? Well, let me show you this thing. This thing looks very similar to like a Nipex Cobra, Cobra grip or alligator grips, 
they've got like a fine tooth and you can kind of hear it's there, it's ratcheting down. Well, they have like a cushion here, like a little buffer, hydraulic buffer or a sprung buffer. You just put it on what you want to grab, squeeze it, and it naturally just slides into position. So it's a really simple, I mean, easy grip's the perfect name for it because you don't have to readjust at all. You just put it down to the maximum, put it on the nut, squeeze, and, and you're off to the races. As simple as that. So really cool tool, really cool innovation, and Magnum were amazing because on the booths, you couldn't sell tools. Some of them had samples. These guys didn't have any samples to take away, but they said, don't worry, we'll send you these in the post. And as soon, that literally the parcel nearly beat me back here. When I arrived back in the UK, it was sat waiting for me. Two compact tape measures, two sets of the easy grips, and a load of these. I wonder what the heck these were. A few packs of what looked like impact bits, but in fact, they were finished made gummy bears. So, I mean, you can't beat a bit of service and that was quality. And nice surprise, they're better than normal gummy bears. On first glance, they're all the least popular flavors, right? Where's the red and the purple ones? If I give them to my kids, they'd probably give them all back. But they're like a mixture of tropical flavors. I quite like them. Certainly not what I expected when I saw the bag. But cool little thing, I love it. And it does say that they're made in Finland, which is cool. So there we go, that is my top 10 tools from the Europe show. To be honest, I could have made this list a lot longer. It was a huge show with so much to see. I think next year, if you want to see us go back there and spend a couple of days and really drill down on some of the quirky little brands, because the first three halls were all the big brands. Dewalt, Skill, all of those massive big vendors with the huge big booths, sprawling kind of tool aisles. But the other halls were like little booths with quirky little inventions. Now we got to see a few of them. I'd love to look around all of the other little stalls, but we just didn't have time. So if you want to see that, firstly subscribe, because that helps us keep on this journey, looking at amazing and finding amazing innovative tools. But also let me know in the comments and you will also be entered to win the SATA pliers, the tough bill and one last thing, which is the Brucey bonus. You've won another Brucey bonus. So it wouldn't be a shadow phone video without a Brucey bonus. And what is a better Brucey bonus than flex tape? I've seen this before in my States trip. I've got some, I haven't actually tested it yet, but we have a big video coming where I went around Lowe's looking at some of their really quirky tools and Lowe's is an amazing place. I think it was my favorite store. It just picked Home Depot for me. It had a great range of stuff, aisles and aisles of tools, far more than we have in the UK in any hardware stores. And they had a lot of flex. So in that video, I think we give this a proper test and we do a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. I don't know if I'm gonna cut a boat in half, but I'll do something. And the guys on the booth hooked us up with something for our giveaway. We've got five of these patches. We also got five Flex Seal Carpenters pencils and five pens. So we'll include one of each with our little giveaway bundles. And that wraps up our giveaway, which is pretty awesome. Final reminder, if you do wanna win one of these, pliers, knife, Flex Seal patch, Flex Seal pen and pencil, all you have to do is drop a comment, any comment. Let me know which of these 10 tools would you like to get your hands on? You can click the link, join the little list that we're gonna to put together for these interesting tools. If you'd like to see them in the UK, basically let me know because we can bring them over, but we have to make sure there's over hundred people who want one. That's the crux of the matter. So there we go. All we've got to do now is organize it in some foam and wouldn't you believe it, this is a tool track insert in blue for their top box. You can get these on the website now. We'll put a link for this as well down there. So if you've got an Ox tool track, you want to get it organized with some shadow foam. We now make inserts that slot directly into there. There's my insert. Let me put a quick layout together and then I'll show you how you cut some shadow foam. Right, so there we go, we've got a bit of a layout. All of the items are on there, sparing one or two. And it's dead simple. When it comes to cutting shadow foam, this isn't probably your typical tool set. Or maybe it is. Again, this is a pretty diverse set of tools and you can get a lot of jobs done with it. Maybe it's not your go-to tool set, but when it comes to cutting shadow foam, all you have to do is create a layout. That's sometimes the hardest bit. Settling on the layout, getting it all to kind of like Tetris together in a really nice way is often tricky. Once you've done that, all you need is an anti-cut glove, first and foremost, get a cut-proof glove and then get a scalpel. Now, all of these things are available in our cutting kits. They come on the website, shadowfoam.com. They come free with most orders. So everything you're gonna to need to do this job is in that kit. All you then do is place an item where you want it to go. And then you just trace cut around the item using the scalpel like a pencil. Once you've cut all the way around and you've met back up at the start, you move the item out of the way. And if you press down on the foam, it should expose that cut you've made. And then you can go back round and you can cut down as deep as you need to go. Now this is a 50 mil insert and I'm cutting in a tape measure here. That's about 35 mil. So I want to cut down 
to minimum 35 mil and that way it'll sit flush. But if you wanted it to sit proud, you can cut a little bit less, you can cut a little bit deeper. If you really wanted to, you can cut all the way through and have a backer insert on it. It just depends how you wanna do it. I would recommend though, cutting down to about 35 mil and then you can peel back a load of foam. So there we go, I've cut all the way around now, 35 mil deep. Now I just dig my finger down one side and you kind of hook in the end of your finger under one of the layers and then you're just pulling the foam back towards yourself and you're pulling it back towards you, not kind of peeling it, you're pulling it away. And there we go, I've got the whole chunk out in one hit and the tape measure fits straight in just like that. So that's the first item done, let me cut all the rest. So there we go, that is all of the tools, cut into the foam, dead easy, place them where you want them to go, cut around and peel back the foam, couldn't be any easier, we do it all the time, and I've even added all the finger pulls there too, just to make it easy to get the items in and out, so I've just used a steel ruler to cut like a track for some of the items that are in a row, and then I just use one of our stencil guys to cut some semicircles. it just makes getting items in and out of the insert nice and easy, if you want to see some hints and tips on how to get some great results with shadow foam, go and check out this video, we did it a couple of weeks ago, and it's all of my top tips on how to get the best results, so you can use this shadow foam for pretty much anything organizing your power toolboxes like the tool check like we've done here and this insert perfectly fits in there lovely but you can also use it for wall displays you can organize roll cabs like this one get your whole snap on roll cab decked out all your tools you know where they all are organize and protect everything it's dead easy and it's all available at shadowfoam.com don't forget drop me a comment down below so you're entered in the giveaway for this stuff here and also just let me know what tools what are these 10 tools would you like to see us bring into the uk and supply i think there's loads of interesting stuff that's not available in the uk and i'd like to make it available but i want to know what is the most popular so we have a little poll on sunday we'll put a poll there with some of these see what your favorite one is and if there's enough people want one we'll bring it to the UK and make things happen. So make sure you subscribe, make sure you like the video, it really helps us out. Thank you very much for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. If you like that video, why not check out some of our others? We've got new videos coming out every week. And Colin Furs, what's the quickest way for people to see these videos? Subscribe.